Hello East View Scholars and welcome to the last of our kind of uh, cell biology uh, reviews and let's talk about transcription translation and how proteins are made. Um, remind ourselves of a couple things DNA long parallel chains in an alpha helix held together by hydrogen bonds uh, adenine and thymine like each other cytosine and guanine like each other there is a triplet code to, for the 20 uh, amino acids that are read off right from the mRNA to the tRNA. Um, and really how it starts is you need to activate the genes, bring in the messenger RNA, put together your um, code, your messenger strand that leaves the nucleus, at which point it finds a ribosome or it gets processed, leaves the nucleus, finds a ribosome, and then the transfer car RNA comes in, bringing the amino acids, and the peptide bonds are made, and off they go to be packaged and do their thing. Here, uh, again, is our overall sequence, opening up, enzyme-mediated opening of the DNA strand, the copying of the mRNA um, strand, at the ribosome, then the transfer RNAs come in, bring in the amino acids, and make the peptide bond. Okay, so again, that's our overall statement. So transcription, the copying, production of RNA from the DNA template. All three types of RNA are formed here. For example, messenger RNA. Um, this occurs basically the messenger RNA again for review occurs in the nucleus. Um, so activate occurring uh, on the template strand with RNA polymerase binds to a promoter region um, and then complementary to DNA uh, binds and here we go so RNA polymerase comes in and then it uh, codes for after these the helicases have separated out the things the RNA polymerase binds to a promoter region and then you have your triplets which are uh, assembled with the messenger RNA. Okay. Transcription ends at the point that it's supposed to stop. Messenger RNA detaches. The complementary DNA strands reassociate and off goes the messenger RNA. Okay. So here we are putting in our codons through our RNA polymerase. We have hit our stop region. Okay. And then here you can see a little picture where we had our immature mRNA, introns and exons, but you uh, uh, cut out the introns, you put in the exons, then it can leave the nucleus to go produce the protein. Okay. And that's what we're reminding of here is that the initial RNA strand is not ready to go and needs to be edited. Okay. Translation again then occurs in the cytoplasm. Uh, where the free ribosomes are and initially starts in the cytoplasm. Now, if this is going to be a protein for the cell itself, then it will stay in the cytoplasm. Uh, if it is going to be a protein that is going to be transported out, then what you see is this uh, movement of the ribosome over towards the endoplasmic reticulum, where then in the uh, protein essentially is, is, is uh, as it is assembled, the primary sequence is put into the endoplasmic reticulum and then it is processed and packaged there. Okay. Steps of translation, the mRNA binds to the small uh, subunit and then the large subunit uh, essentially comes over the top and then you have two spots, an A and a B, so here you can see leave the nucleus, um, bind to the small unit, the large unit will come in, let's get our start codon going which is always a methionine um, and then we have our two slots as the large subunit comes in and this will uh, come in. The proximity allows for a peptide bond between the nitrogen, the mean group, and the carboxylic acid group. And then it will shift. The ribosome will shift and allow um, uh, this to, the first protein to move out, the second protein to move in, amino acid to move in, bind the next set of codons and keep shifting on down. Okay, so stops once the codon is reached. All right.
and then uh, to say it simply as it's moved along and then the codon is reached then essentially it blows apart and you have your completed polypeptide okay. anyhow that is our trans uh, transcription translations review scholar up Eastview